<laughs> I hope you can hear the sound of what I'm chewing. It's nothing but it's ginger honey chips. Ginger honey chips. Now in the United States of America, everywhere you want, 862-215-2007. You can chew it like this, or better still, put it on your cocoa, rice water, oatmeal, you can bring it in me, Akbadashi. Your whiskey, your brandy, anything you want to put it on it. It's so nice. <laughs> so nice, nice, nice. <laughs> oh my god. Ginger honey chips. 862 215 2007. It's your ginger honey chips. Get one for yourself. Ten dollars, free to go. Enjoy yourself. Thank you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. We may not have fear here. We are not fear here. We are not fear here. Since we are here, we know sickness can determine the last straw of your life. Ladies and gentlemen. Friends and loved ones, support us about foundation, the CL Foundation for Health, Diabetes and Asthma and Cerebral Palsy. We are knocking at your doors, knocking at your pockets, knocking at your emotions. Support me and my team to support people living with diabetes, asthma, and cerebral palsy. Your donations are welcome on 862 215 2007. Your zeal, 862 215 2007. MTN Ghana numbers 055-000-5077. It is the MTN number. CL Foundation for Health and Support. Help us with the diabetes equipment, glucometers, wheelchairs, old clothing, new clothing, financial support. And let's give it to the needy. Thank you for your support. Hallelujah. 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 God bless you for coming this morning. We are in a new month. We are in a new week. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face shine upon you. May he be gracious unto you. May he bless your going out and your coming in. So you wake up this morning and become part of what the Lord has done and what the Lord has said. I give you that opportunity and the privilege to be part of our service for today and know that the Lord is good and all the time the Lord is good. Today happens to be another week in the presence of the Most High God. We are in the month of restoration. Bible says, I will restore what the canker worms have eaten. When the Lord told me this month of November is the month of restoration, I didn't question who he was. I didn't fight him for what he can do. But I gave that particular honor to him. And I've granted him the option and the opportunity to make his way in my life and in your life. May the Lord restore unto you the health that you have lost. May the Lord restore back unto you Whatever you lost due to delay in the month of October, may the Lord bring back unto you whatever you deserve. But because of an attitude and the behavior, you didn't receive it. I welcome you to the month of restoration. 
And this is a month of divine restoration. There are restorations of restorations, but this is a divine restoration. Revived restoration. Divine restoration. Divine restoration. God will restore you. He will restore your joy. I love the song that, that goes every time. I hear that word come that calls me Lord to thee for clean in thy precious blood that flows on Calvary. Somebody join me. Worship the Lord. I hear that word come forth. That call cause me, Lord, to thee. For cleanse me in thy breath. Shows blood that flow on Calvary. I say, Ah, I'm coming, Lord. Come now, near to thee. Wash me, cleanse me in the blood that flows on Calvary. Ah, I am coming in Lord. Come in now today. Oh, my Lord, wash. Wash me, cleanse me by the blood that flows on Calvary. Ni mo ni Can we at a tube? Let all Shimoni Chokoyo Be Kengwe Ata Twigbe Leno Iba Shimon, 
Ata to Ibe Lero Iba Jibe Ko Nibo. Bless you and give a glory, Lord. You who is able to direct the path of the clouds. You who is able to direct the wind. Why won't you direct my path? This morning we give a glory. This morning we exalt your righteousness. We are before you for cleansing, for empowerment, and for a movement for our week. Without you, our week is not meaningful. We want our week to be meaningful in every aspect of our lives. Oh Lord, lead us. Go with us in every aspect of our life. So we enter into a moment of prayer, Lord. Take your glory. Take your glory. Take your praise. Take your honor. You deserve the glory and the honor. Lord, we lift our hands and worship to glorify your name. You deserve the glory and the honor. Lord, we lift our hands and worship to worship your holy name, for you are great, you do miracles so great, there is no one else like you. There is no one else like you, for you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. Father, you are great. There's no one else like you. You deserve all the glory. You deserve all the thanks. This morning we worship you for another day. We glorify you for another day. We thank you for a new day. We have crossed over and become victorious in another day. We have done our 11th month and we have begun work. Restore us, restore us, restore us, restore us, restore us. Oh, may your name be what we are walking with. May every name that is above us be quiet, that you will take the lead. Go with us, Lord, and be part of our journey. Be glorified and be highly exalted. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for who you are. We thank you this morning. I welcome all of you this morning once again to the service. Get your communion ready. We are going to dine our weekly communion. Let your communion be there with you immediately. And don't forget to get your bottle of oil as we anoint ourselves this morning. Pick up your oil. We want to anoint ourselves. There's a reason for anointing yourself. If the anointing breaks the yoke, then oil was poor. In the life of David, an exploit happened. When all the children gathered, he was the unique one that was anointed. So even though he was a shepherd boy, he was the one with the vision for the mission for the family. And oil has been poured on you. But you reactivate your oil every week. Pick up your bottle of oil and let's go together. Say in the name of Jesus, 
I anoint myself with oil. My cup will run over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me. Throughout the whole of this week, I shall see the goodness of the Lord. Go again for the second time. Say, by the touch of this oil, O Lord, restore whatever is gone that I deserve it. Let there be a restoration. May this oil connect me to my restorers, to my restorers. Everywhere the storehouse is, break open unto me as I get my restoration. For the last time, pick up the oil. Declare, O oh Lord, as this oil goes down and dries up on me, let it become a spiritual indelible mark against any weapons of the warfare, against any weapon from the evil camp, against any weapon from anybody, that Lord, at the end of the day, your name shall reign supreme. Break any weapon, weapon of words, weapon of pointers, any form that has been created that is meant to destroy me. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, saturday and sunday let the oil speak exploit for me let it speak for my children let it speak for my wife let it speak for my workers everywhere i step my foot oh god let the oil speak oh god as i anoint myself i connect to divinity through spirituality let it hit the altar of your servant that forever oh god you will reign supreme in my life I bless you, Lord, and give a glory in the name of Jesus. God bless you so much. Pick up your communion and let's dine this morning together with the Lord. Get your communion this morning. Remember the way our communion is easy to open. Lift it up. The Bible says in the night that Jesus was betrayed, he took bread on the table that they were eating. And he said, this is my body. That was given to you. As often as you do this. Do this in remembrance. He broke it and he gave thanks. Father we give you thanks and give you praise. We exalt your righteousness and your kingdom mindedness in our life. As we practice this oh God as you did with the disciples. Let this bread has an effect in our life. May we go through this week not breaking any bone, not breaking any flesh, everything that will cause a disgrace in our life. By this bread, O oh God, let it never come near our dwelling. Let it pass over us. Let it pass over us. As your people dine with you this morning, let the efficacy of the bread, which is your body, Take shape in their body. Work on their lungs. Work on their kidneys. Work on their large intestines. On their small intestines. On their liver. On their blood streams. On the vessels in their body. Let their body see healing in every part. May none go unrewarded. May none go unrewarded. May each be rewarded as a result of your body. Let this body take impact in our life. May sin not reign in us. Let it be our benefit that you walk with us and bless our going out and our coming in. By the eating of this bread, may the covenant between us be renewed. Renew this covenant with us, even in the name of Jesus. Eat it in remembrance. Bible says on the same table with the people then he took the cup that contains the wine that he lifted up and he said this is my blood as often as you drink it drink it for the remission of sin let it be a remembrance in your life that he died and he rose again and he gave us the power over sin over anything that will draw us from his presence 
as often as you do this, it rekindles your relationship with him. This morning, I declare over the blood that you are holding that as you drink this blood, may it has effect in your blood. May it flush out any disease that is blood related. May any curse that is blood related be taken out of your life. As this blood enters your blood, may nobody be able to curse you with blood. Everywhere your name shall be mentioned with blood. It shall catch up with fire. No effect from anywhere. No shrine shall identify you from your mother's side, from your father's side, from the friends you move with. You shall not be knocked down by any car. No pot shall receive your blood. As the year is going to an end, you shall not be used for sacrifice. Your children shall not be used for sacrifice. Your wife will not be used for sacrifice. Your husband will not be used for sacrifice. None of the people who are connected to you by the touch of this blood will have anything spilling their blood. You will have enough blood to cross the year. You will arrive in the month of January with enough blood. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, this blood shall cover you. The devil is ashamed because the blood of Jesus is speaking better things in your life. As you drink this blood, let your covenant be revealed and let your covenant be renewed. And let your covenant stand tall with Jesus, the son of the living God. Drink this in remembrance. Bible says, and when the people were in captivity, he asked them to eat the, the, the Passover, use the blood to mark their doorpost. I tell you every time that your front tunnel is a door, your forehead is a door. Mark your forehead. Mark your left hand. Mark your right hand with the blood. Mark your feet. Your left and right feet. And receive the prayer. Father, I pray for this ones. That as they anoint themselves with the blood. Let them see the effect of the blood. May none of them have a challenge with the blood. Let them have that blessings with the blood. We declare that, Lord, if it is your word that we are relying upon, glorify yourself in their lives in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray with much thanksgiving. And the saints of God will say a bigger amen. God bless you for coming this morning. Share the page and invite a friend to become part of our service for today. Ask God to be part of whoever is part of it. And tell the Lord that he should take us through this service and bring us to bear the wisdom of God and the power of God. We are here to pray. We are here to hear God's word and to pray God's word. Oboku, God bless you for coming. Kenneth, thank you for being here. And I welcome all of you once again, like me, Vida, God bless you for coming. Eunice, God bless you for coming. Share the page as we launch ourselves into prayer. The Bible says in Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not lack anything. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right path for his name's sake. Yet though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare me a table in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercies shall follow me 
all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. This morning your prayer is the Lord you are my shepherd. I will not want anything. I will not lack anything. For Bible says I give you dominion and power over the things that I have created. As you walk through this week, the Bible says it is your month of restoration. Then you want to declare to the Lord every form of restoration that has taken me out of the original. I pray, oh God, may I be restored. Let me be restored. Let there be a restoration, Lord. May I be restored for your name's sake. You are my shepherd. I will not want. You are my shepherd. I will not want. You are the one that is making me who I am. Therefore, I will not want. Therefore, Lord, as I come with you this morning, let your glory be seen. Let your mercy encounter me. I pray this morning, Lord, that I say you are my shepherd. I shall not want. I will not have any lack in my life. Say in the name of Jesus, Lord, as I walk through this week, be my shepherd. Be my shepherd. Be my shepherd. Redraw any lack from my life and restore unto me that which is mine. Restore unto me the joy of your salvation. Let me experience your joy. Let me experience your joy. Let me experience your joy. Let me experience your joy in everything that I do. Let me experience your joy. Let me experience your joy. Let your joy be my strength. I declare over my life that in this month of restoration, may I, O oh God, experience your joy, experience your joy, experience your joy, experience your joy, experience your joy. Lord, may you lay me a table in the presence of my enemies. Let my cup run over. Let my cup run over. Let my cup run over. May the cup of my finances run over. Restore unto me the cup that has gone empty. Feel it for me everywhere. May the cup of my health run over. May the cup of my strength run over. As I walk through this week, O oh Lord, let me not lack. May I not lack. May I not lack. Let your oil over me spill through everything I do. Let it lubricate every dryness. Let it lubricate every dryness. May I, O oh God, in all spheres of life, in all the endeavors of my life, become what you have called me for. I bless you for who you are, and I give you glory for what you have made me. I bless you for today. May your name be glorified. May your name be highly exalted. Even in the name of Jesus, I pray with much thanksgiving. Amen. The Bible says that we are in the month and the, the, the theme for the month is my month of divine restoration. This month as you walk through, smile because the Lord is restoring. There is a restoration taking place. Something must be restored in your life. There is a need that you are crying for. The Lord say, I am restoring. Whatever has been eaten, I will restore. And the definition of restoration or restore means an action of returning something to a former owner. An action of returning something to a former owner. To restore means that something that was somewhere that has left and must be brought back to that place. This month of November, whatever you have lost, 
whatever is yours that has left you bible says the god that we worship is the lord that can restore you whatever has been eaten away whoever is holding on to your restoration that is refusing your restoration i declare over your life today that as you find yourself in the month of restoration the lord says as you tell you a restoration is coming your way a restoration is falling your way that thing you have been following for a long time that go and come syndrome you have prayed you have fasted you have moved here and there you have gotten all the connection but it cannot be restored i declare over your life this morning that in this month of november you shall be restored you shall be restored your business deal shall be restored whatever has been eaten shall be restored whatever is gone shall come back to you anything that has been eaten before you were born it shall be restored there is a restoration coming it says for what the canker worm has eaten what the canker worms have eaten what the locusts have eaten i the lord will restore it joel 2 25 he says i will restore it he is a god of restoration there could be many years in the sight of men there could be many years that you have not gotten it what your father have lost what your mother have lost the lord is restoring it the relationship your mother never had the relationship your father wished but never had the lifestyle that your father wished for you that you've never had the lord says in this month of november he is restoring he is restoring say restore me let your divine restoration take place let your divine restoration take place divine restoration take place restore 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 oh lord restore oh lord restore it oh lord restore restore now the bible says in the book of joel chapter 2 verse 25 it says i will repay repay means restore it says i will restore you for the years the locusts have eaten i will restore says the lord the years the locusts have eaten the great the great locusts and the young locusts and the other locusts and the locust swine my great army that i sent among you will restore i love that the, the new living translation it says the lord says i will give you back Oh, Jesus, I will give you back what you lost to the swimming locusts, the hopping locusts, the stripping locusts, and the cutting locusts. I, it was I who sent the great destroying army against you. The Lord says, I will restore. He says, any form that the locusts have taken, whether it is a, a swimming, whether it is a swallowing, whether it is a eating, whether it is a cutting locust, whether it's a stripping locust, whether it's a hopping locust, any form of eating that has come into your life, any form of eating that has come into your system, I will restore. I will restore. I will restore. You want to declare in the name of Jesus, Oh Lord, whatever was eaten before I was born, whatever was eaten by my great grandfathers, whatever was exposed to the devil by my family members, whatever has been eaten by the family name that I carry from my mother's side, from my father's side, everything that have been lost this morning as I pray, Oh Lord, may you go before me and restore and restore 
and restore repay back lord repay back lord let there be a divine restoration let there be divine restoration lift up your voice somebody and begin to pray lift up your voice and talk to god this morning the lord god almighty let there be a restoration let there be a restoration lord according to your word in the book of joel you say you will restore Lord restore, Lord restore, Lord restore, restored unto me, restored unto me my joy, restored unto me that which I have lost. Lord, what was lost before my mother found my father? What was lost in my mother's family? What was lost in my father's family? that is affecting me today that i am repeating every setback every setback that lord is causing me to mark time when i'm about to cross to the other side there is a storm that is refusing my movement lord let there be a restoration let there be a restoration whatever is gone restore whatever is gone oh lord restore let it be restored unto me restored unto me my joy restored unto me that which i need restoration i declare that there shall be a restoration in your in the life that i live i declare that lord let it be O oh god according to your word many have come and lord i have not had my restoration but as i walk to you O oh god i know what you can do i know what you have done then let there be a divine restoration in my going out in my coming in restore 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 my health restore my health i declare that lord whatever distraction that has happened in my lungs whatever distraction that have happened that i don't know as i pray this morning lord let there be a restoration that deformity in the life of my children let it end now let it end now it cannot be it cannot be that which we are working with lord let there be a restoration let there be a restoration lord you can restore that is why i walk to you restore lord restore oh god restore oh god let there be a divine restoration in the name of jesus christ in the book of jeremiah chapter 30 the book of jeremiah chapter 30 reading from verse number 17 for my bible says but i will restore you to the health and heal your wounds declares the lord because you call because you are called an outcast i will restore you restore your health restore your wounds say yes the lord because you have been called an outcast look the the condition you are in the level of poverty you are swimming in the way you are crying to become somebody nobody wants to do anything with you my bible says in the book of jeremiah chapter 30 reading from verse number 17 it says i the lord will restore your health that's one and i will heal your wound 